CataractCoach.com, two very challenging cataract cases. Now, both challenges are due to capsule compromise. Let's watch these fun cases from Professor Ramesh Ayala in Florida. Now, mobile lens syndrome with acute glaucoma. So here's a patient, blind eye, pressure 78, severe pain, hot eye, flat AC. This is a tough, tough case. Look at this. Starting off with making an incision, and you probably want to put some tripen blue dye in, right? Okay, put a little tripen blue dye, maybe some visclasic, but look. That whole lens, the entire lens is totally mobile. A lot of times in these eyes, you can have total absence of designer support here. Um, I've seen cases where just the posterior sneaky is the only thing holding the lens in front of the eye. So you can here, try in, poke in, try to get a capsule rex is done, but the entire lens is moving here. So at this point, you may not have, not have any designer support at all. So you may need to actually convert this to a M6, or, or ECCE, a large incision, but you know, honestly, it could end up being an intracap. So capsule is one of the nucleus. It's mobile, hard, there's no design support. Capsule is almost fused to the lens nucleus. Now, just look at that. The entire thing is mobile. Wow, wow, wow. So now the surgeon is going to use a small blade here and make an entrance into the anterior chamber, and it looks like you can get an ECC, extra capsule, cataract extraction, or actually, in this case, probably the correct word is intracapsular you can then remove the whole nucleus but also the whole lens including the capsule so enlarging this incision and let's see delivering this big thing let's see what comes out of here i'm sure it's going to be an absolute rock as you saw on that title slide and so nice and easy obviously the patient had a good retrobulbar blot so there's no pain here and so there it is wow look at that nucleus come out and the capsule there's zero zion support at all Wow, wow, wow. That was just amazing. Let's suture this uh, cornea back up and uh, try to clean up this case and see what you end up getting. So you're obviously going to do an anterior vitrectomy here. This patient has absolutely no um, zonular support, capsule support at all. So you've resolved his glaucoma issues as well. So cleaning this up, wow, this is a super tough case here. Now the question is, if the pressure was 78 for a prolonged period of time, I mean, how much nerve is even left here? Well, we'll find out in the post-op period. So look at that black leathery cataract. Oh my gosh, if you can try to crush it, this thing is a rock, an absolute rock. And let's see, open it up. You know it's going to look just real leathery and like almost like soft wood, right? Wet wood. You just split it apart, it's going to be all fibrous. That is unbelievable. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. Amazing to think that the human lens could turn into that. Now, at this point, you can leave the eye faking for an eye. You can always come back for an eye well later time. That You don't have to worry about it now. I just want to get out of this eye and just finish up the case here. But, wow, what an unusual case here. And, again, patient can come back if, if there is visual potential for a lens later. Now, let's look at the second one. Phacolytic glaucoma. All righty. Here's an eye. Looks like there were 24-year-old prior penetrating injury with corneal repair. Pressure's 48. Obviously, the lens capsule has been punctured. Just the IA probe, look at this, just absolutely aspirating there. Because of the young patient, it's a soft lens. It's just all the lens proteins became opaque. And just aspirate these things out, then figure out what's going on with the capsule. Because you know the anterior lens capsule has already been punctured. So clean out as much as you can here. And then let's see if we can figure out how to save what's left of the capsule to give this patient some um, support for holding a new IOL. So again, cleaning this up, it looks like there's a, looks like there's going to be some reasonable amount of capsule. Yeah, here comes the lens going in the bag even. Look at that. So fortunate for this patient, there was no rupture of the posterior capsule. So there's the lens going in there. Okay, air bubble stabilization is going to be coming up apparently. I read the text there. And let's see, get that lens in reasonable position. Okay, enlarging the capsule or opening a little bit. Yeah, you could definitely do that. Once the lens is in there, it's easy to enlarge it because now you know the exact size that you want. And a little bit of a can opener technique, perfectly fine there as well. And then now, pull that little capsule remnant out of the eye. There we go. And this patient can have a real nice outcome. So, wow, two really tough, challenging cases. And I'm sure one day you'll encounter something like this as well. And this is a nice example of how to kind of get through them here at the end and give the patients a real nice outcome. Wow, 2040 vision. That sounds fantastic. Okay, check out our scissor channel, runaroundscom Promise, even if you're a cat guy like me, you're going to love it. You're going to learn so much. Thank you.